Hey there, today we will create an artwork in Infinite Painter on an Android phone. We will add the shadows and textures for each layer, giving it a 3D pop. Before we begin, be sure to hit the like button and subscribe to my channel so you don't miss any new content. Alright, let's get started. Open the app and create a blank canvas. Now select the screen size from the presets. So first we will create the background with the sun. Select the fill tool and fill the entire layer with the color. Next select the circle tool and draw a circle on a new layer with the white color. Now we will create three more layers like this and we will keep increasing the size of the circle as we go down. Now the background layers are completed, pinch on these layers to organize them into a group. I'll name this group BG for background. Now add a new layer above the group and make sure you have selected the solid pen brush. Now draw some mountains like this on separate layers one above the other. Now pinch on these layers to organize them into a group and I'll call this group mountains. So now we have created all the layers but to give them a 3D pop we will add the shadows for each layer. Let's start with the background group. First make a duplicate of each layer except the last layer. Now fill each duplicate layer with the black color. Select the transform tool and select all the shadow layers and move them slightly to the right. Now apply the blur effect to each shadow layer one by one. Reduce the opacity of each shadow layer to make them a bit more softer. Now similarly we will make the shadows for each mountain layer.
so now the artworks look really good as it is but if you like to add some extra spice to it we will do it by adding some textures first we will add the texture to the background layers For the texture, I'll choose the paper texture brush from my realistic texture brush pack. Select the topmost circle layer and set the color to a slightly darker color than the layer. Now add the texture using the brush. Now add some highlights on the edges of the layer with the white color. Now do this for each layer. Now we will add the textures to the mountain layers. I'll use the sawdust texture brush for the first three mountains. The sawdust texture is more rough than the paper texture and it looks really good on the mountains. And now our artwork is complete. So do you like it with or without the textures? I'll be very curious to know about it. Let me know your thoughts in the comments. So if the video was helpful, don't forget to give it a like. And if you want me to make more tutorials like this, do subscribe to the channel. And one more thing, now you can support the channel financially by clicking on the join button. So see you guys in the next video.